just the different things you can do. There's three basic angles create that you should be able to create with the down spear, and then you can use those in a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of the fakes, stuff like that. Um, then we'll go into managing weapon lengths. I think that that is probably the biggest thing that takes someone from a mid-level or low-level uh, down spear fighter who's new to high level is how well you can manage the different lengths of the weapons. And we'll kind of go over that and talking about like, depending on where you are, you have one weapon that is much longer than the other, but you can also do things to create balances where both weapons are the same length basically in space and, and lots of different stuff. We'll, we'll talk about that, we'll go in a little more into depth. Um, and then the last thing will be defense. Specifically, I talk dealing with the press because for most of us, you don't need to defend unless someone's pressing you because we have range, right? So really that is what defense is, is when someone's closing, how are we gonna deal with it and how are we gonna move back to a range? Because at range, we can just pick people apart, right? So that's all we're going to go over information-wise. We'll see how long that takes with what's left over. We'll do some live sparring and we'll talk about where we can do better incorporating the down spear into things. We'll have some of us with normal gear, you know, someone with normal gear fighting someone with down spear and we'll look how we're integrating into the system, where we can change things, stuff like that. So, everyone comfortable with that? All right, fantastic. All right, so we're going to start with stance. All right. So, the biggest thing that I want to talk about first with stance. All right. So, spear foot forward is going to be our standard poking range, right? We're going to be coming out here poking. This is where we're doing everything. The biggest mistake that people make right off the bat when making with their stance is holding their spear like this, straight up and down. All right, there's a couple of problems with this. First, because your tip's so far down, it takes a little extra time to get up. But also, one of the biggest weaknesses is your outside forearm. And when you're holding your spear like this, you're pretty much giving it to everyone, okay? So in everyone's standard stance, I would like to see tip slightly off the ground and your hand cocked out slightly. What this is gonna do is cut off that immediate angle and deal with that. Then at the same time, we're gonna bring our sword over here so we're guarding this side because with a spear foot forward stance, we're really projecting this side of our body. So I don't need to be protecting back here if we're keeping range, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm keeping here because I wanna make sure my spear arm is protected, protecting it on the inside here and keeping the outside wrap from here, right? Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. So everyone, we all get in that stance real quick just so we look at it real quick. That looks pretty good. Can you get the tip up a little bit more? Yeah, that's better. So that's better. Tip in just a hair. Yeah, yeah, and now bring your sword over so that you're protecting it just a little bit. A little more projected for me. Uh, your, your right sword. So it's a little more projected. Okay. Arm out slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, tip can stay up. It's, it, it's the difference between you're doing this. Yeah. All right, so this hand's here. Mm -hmm. I want it. Yeah, it's a little better. That's a little better. And that looks good too. Do you want the... Uh... I'm gonna give him your down spear. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bane. Good looking out, it's man. It's a little baby one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm alright with that. You can use one. Yeah, yeah, you can use mine barely, later on. It's barely past the short. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard being disabled, damn it. Well, <laughs> how do you do it? Bring this hand in just a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. Your, oh, your, your, your yeah, spear hand in yeah. slightly. So it's closer to your body. So if you're lined up on me, that looks pretty clean. And the only other thing is I'd say this this hand just a little higher. Why? Yep. Which is counterintuitive to every other stance. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good. That's just for now. We'll go into like more detail later. So then we're going to talk about switching stances to a sword foot forward stance. All right. Uh, now the importance of these switching stances, we're going to go into more detail later, is the effective range difference and where I can play, right? Because from right here with my shield foot forward, or with my spear foot forward stance, right, I can easily hit him right here. I can't come anywhere close to hitting him here, right? Now if I'm going to move into an elongated sword foot forward stance, I can easily hit him right here and I can come much closer to hitting him right here, right? So there's a much more dual threat that I'm allowed to you know, use in this situation, okay? So, 
let's talk about this stance. Once again, one of the more important things is I want this hand out. I do not want to be fighting like this. This is the number one mistake every single down spear fighter is going to have. They're going to fight like this. This is a worse angle, takes a longer time to hit, and is worse on defense every, every way around, all right? So we want to be fighting like this, okay? You'll notice my elbow's in and my hand is out, all right? So like for you right there, let that hand come out slightly, all right? What this does is it already gives me a very quick stab in, right? And projects a lot of defense, okay? A lot of what I'm going to be doing is projecting my defense, right? Because that's, this is where I'm going to be fighting people. If someone hard presses, that's when I'm going to tighten up and do something different. But the majority of the fighting I'm going to do is going to be people coming in and going like, you know, sniping out here because they're already having to stay at range. Okay? So once again, elbow is going to come out. This is going to give me a much better defense to the outside of my arm. And it's going to put me in a better position to threaten at all times, right? If he steps in at all just to throw a shot, I can just throw this quick, boom, right, and step back out, all right? Once again, we're going to bring that tip in to cover the center line, basically. Your tip wants to be a little bit more in. There you go. Keep the hand where it was. Yeah, that's looking better. That's looking better. So you're pretty good. I would still bring your tip over a little bit more. You see how my hand is projected almost in front of me instead of out here and over? It's right here. Right? So I'm coming here, my hand's gonna come basically straight out. Okay, sounds good. When you do it, can you bring your hand a little bit more to the outside? Yeah, and can the tip come up? You have the strength for that? Yeah, just a little bit less. Yeah, kind of like right there, so that you're ready to immediately That way the weight of the sword is right. on your palm. I have to tell yeah. that. I'm not used to throwing that. Well, <coughs> it's like one time. We'll talk about throwing in just a second. Let's see how it feels different. Also yeah, pretty good if you can get that hand yeah. just a little bit farther out. The tip can stay down, elbow stays right. in. So don't go from here yeah. to here, just kind of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that you're like really just cocked for an immediate right. throw in almost, but it also gives you a better defense, right? Yeah. Same thing, we just bring your back right. shoulder back a little bit. There you go, perfect, perfect. Because now you see I've got a very hard time getting inside. You've got both things and you're set to throw at any moment. Let's see. So let the hand come out. If your elbow stays, let your hand come out just a little bit. There you go. So you're out to the side like this. Mm -hmm. Drop this shoulder back a little for me. So you're along, sorry, uh, elongate your stance a little bit. There you go. And then project this more out here, right? So now we've got, yeah, see, now you've got a real strong defense. The only thing that I really have is trying to come deep inside yeah. and you're sitting there threatening at all times with that. What do we got? Turn just a little bit. Okay, so uh, drop your left shoulder back just slightly. Cool, so you're still lined up on me. Elbow come in a little bit, there you go. Sword, more here, okay? So that's looking a little better. You see how you're lined up? Your right hand can maybe come in just a hair, but that's good, and then this tip more at me, your hand drops back. Keep elbow in. That's a little bit better, right? So once again, you've got a pretty solid defense everywhere that I'm going, and you have a very easy threat at all times, okay? Elbow in. And then right hand project a little bit more. Yeah, you're gonna want your elbow in even more than that. Oh man, that's so weird. Yeah, yeah, like look at this. Oh, uh, my elbow is so right. crazy. So okay. that you're ready to throw yeah. straight from here. Yep. Crazy. All right, cool. So that's gonna be our basic stances. Now, one of the fun things about down spear is you can be lazy a lot of times, okay? So when I'm fighting normally, you're gonna see me walking around like this, kind of moving around here, looking for different angles to throw in. But if it looks like I think they're gonna press, I'm gonna step right here into my stance because I need to be in a strong stance if they're pressing. Beauty of down spear is until they press though, you can fuck around all day. Like throw the legs, throw up over here, play around, you know, mm -hmm. all those things. You got that on tape, right? Throw the legs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's just kind of the basics of stance, how I teach them. So we're gonna move on to attacking. Right? So the first thing is we're just going to work on down spear and the basics. So I teach three basic angles that you need to know with the down spear. Okay? We'll go through them all, see how we're doing. So the first one is your standard down spear attack. I'm going to <coughs> lift my sword up and I'm just going to throw my hand down. Right? This is a very straight attack. This is the fastest attack that I can do as far as flicking. 
and it is perfect for people who are leaving a straight up and down pocket, right? So if this is Spear Lake Ford, right? What? This is Spear Lake Ford. You can do it either way. Spear Lake Ford is probably the more common way you're going to use it, okay. right? From back here, you can still pop, but you're probably going to be dropping back more if you're Spear Lake back. Right, and so we'll talk about it a little bit uh, later. But yes, for the most part, this one, this is my least used attack, and it is the most common attack you will see a normal down spear fighter use, right? The reason this is my least used attack is it has the worst angle to hit, but there are times when it is good, and that is specifically if someone is goal posting. If someone is giving you a straight up target, mm -hmm. then we just wanna go and just take that target straight, okay? Right. Right, yeah, so if he's right here and goal posted right here, then I'm going to lift, and the second it's there, I'm just extending and turning my hand over. Oh, wow. Now you got a nice lunch butt. I'm just turning my hand <laughs> over, right? And the, the reason I'm turning my hand over is to keep my point straight as it goes, okay? That's going to take a little bit of pelling, but we'll practice it a little bit and you'll see. So I'm extending and turning my hand over. Right, so. So we're going to push, I should have said this right before I have you all start doing it. When we push with our down spear, these will be the two fingers that are controlling it, okay? If we keep a grip, then I end up turning it over with this big angle, right? Because my hand stays there. If I release, it goes straight, right? Okay? So these are going to be the main two fingers we're using to control the down spear as it stabs. Okay. So this is angle number one. I'm going to go over all three angles and then we're going to do a little pellin on each other to get a feel for it. Now, angle number two, this is the most common stab that I am going to use, is I'm going to be stabbing this way, all right? My hand is going to turn up, my palm is going to be straight up, right? And I'm going to learn to, once again, that final extension is two fingers. You'll see that? The final extension, boom. Now, this gives us a much better angle to get around stuff from the left side. Since the majority of what we're all going to be fighting is sword and borders, this is the most common shot that you're going to need to learn to be able to use because 